After surgeons put Tommy's legs back together, he went through months of rehabilitation. After the accident, Tommy's left leg was shorter than his right, and he's in constant pain. An occupational therapist helped him relearn how to perform everyday activities, including how to walk. They also aided in his return to the racetrack by teaching him to drive again. You have to treat your body um, like a professional athlete, basically. You're training not for your profession, but for your independence. I, mean, I tell my patients all the time, the, the level of your physical fitness is directly proportional to how independent you're gonna be out in the real world. You have to stay strong, you have to keep your weight down, you have to eat right, all that stuff, because if you don't, you're gonna pay for it down the road. So you start with building blocks, you have to get the leg strength first, and then you work on the more functional things of actually standing and then walking. Um, so you have, to, you have to build a foundation and then and go from there. My therapy started literally probably the day after, just a couple days after my accident. The rate of atrophy, I have to tell you, is, is, is amazing. So when I woke up from surgery, my leg was on a continuous passive motion machine so that I didn't lose any more range of motion than was necessary. And then as soon as I was feeling up to it, some, some upper body things, try to maintain my upper body strength. Um, and even doing that, it just, it, I was in the best shape of my life. And a month later, I could hardly do anything. It, the, the patients that have the, the goal, like, this is where I want to get, those are the patients that we see so much progress because they're so determined.